Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Just Say Gway. I'm your host, George Gway. Today, I'm joined by Drew Camesso, who is a freshman at the Boston University. Uh, he's on the hockey team, and he played two years recently for the USA Development Junior Hockey Team. Uh, Drew, thanks for coming on the show. Yes, thanks for having me. So, uh, how's BU so far? I mean, I've been there for a short period of time. Yeah, we moved in for about two weeks now, and um, yeah, it's pretty slow. There's not much going on, obviously, with all the, the virus, and um, we have to wear masks everywhere, and um, they've been doing a great job of keeping everyone safe and everyone healthy. So, um, yeah, and then hockey start, is starting up soon. We've had practice this week in, in small groups, so I'm really looking forward to getting that started back up again. Yeah, there must be a great feeling. So what was that like when, you know, everything kind of came to a stop and, you know, things were uncertain? How did it impact your training? And uh, was there a way that it kind of helped you out? Uh, did you improve in any ways? It was tough. It was tough. We were in Omaha um, and our season got canceled. And that was right when the NBA canceled too. And um, our world tournament, which we're all really looking forward to, got canceled at the same time. So everyone was pretty bummed out and uh, we all went home kind of thinking that, you know, we might get sent back in a few weeks. We we didn't really know how serious this was all going to be. And then, obviously, with everything developing the way it did, we all stayed home. And um, for the first month, I think, we kind of took it as, you know, get some rest from the season. We obviously had a, a very long season, and um, it was very taxing on the body. So my, I took some time off. And then as soon as things in my area started getting a little better and, and gyms could open up, I – as soon as the gyms opened up, I went with my trainer and, and was in there pretty much every day of the week. And then um, once the rinks opened up, I was skating as much as I could too. So um, I think it was good to have some time with the family because I lived away for two years. Um, I definitely appreciated that. And um, yeah, I did a lot of training and a lot of skating this summer. So it was good. Yeah, it must have been good to get back out there after all the uncertainty and um, not knowing what was going to happen. So uh, you grew up in the Boston area. You know, what was that like with the elite hockey culture? You know, you probably you saw the Bruins win the Stanley Cup at a young age. Uh, all the strong Boston uh, college hockey teams, including the one that you're a part of, uh, the Beanpot Tournament. What was that like? It was awesome. Growing up, I played in the EHF, which was, you know, the best league around here. And um, so much great talent has come out of that league. And, yeah, like you said, having the Bruins here, I, I always went to the games as a kid. We had – season tickets right behind the goalie's net. So um, whenever I could go and watch games there, I always took advantage of that. And obviously they've had some good teams with them winning the cup in 2011. And, you know, after that and watching Tim Thomas, I, I just came so much more um, in love with the game of hockey, just seeing, you know, how fun it is when, you know, teams have success and stuff like that. So it's really driven me. And yeah, Boston's such a good area for, for hockey with all the colleges around here. And um, it's really been cool to be a part of. Yeah, it's really interesting to see where people get their uh, inspiration from. So you were at St. Sebastian's before you were uh, a part of the USA Junior Development Team. Um, how did they find you, and what was making that decision like to go to Michigan and be a part of that team? Yeah, so St. Sebastian's, uh, I actually went to them. They didn't find me. I went there in seventh grade, and um, I think because the ISL, they can't do any recruiting. Um, so I went there, and, you know, I went there just because of how good the people are there and, you know, how good they run things. and. Um, just kind of how everything goes there and the hockey at that time kind of came second and obviously they have a, a great hockey program and you know so many legends have come out of that school and um, it was definitely some of the best years of my life and you know they shaped me into the person that I am today um, and really the only option that I would ever leave um, was to go to the U.S. program and it was one of the toughest decisions of my life but um, I'm very glad that I did it. Yeah it's worked out very well for you so uh, what was your favorite part about being in Michigan? Because uh, for some guys in your program out there, it's so great that they stay and go to the University of Michigan. Was that uh, part of your process? Um, what did you like about it? And was it part of your uh, recruiting process that, hey, I might end up here as well? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I, mean, I went to Michigan, already committed to BU, and um, I knew I was really excited to get to BU and stuff like that. I obviously loved living in Michigan. Um, we went to some of the Michigan football games. My my billet parents that I stayed with, they had season tickets to the football games. So I got to go to a few of those, which was super cool. And um, I guess there's a lot like Boston. The weather's pretty much the same. Um, it's a little colder in the winters. I know we had a, we had a ton of snow days and um, it was really cold in the winter. So um, a little colder than here. But, um, yeah, I love Michigan. Um, and I'm always excited to go back, you know, hopefully when we have the World Junior Summer Showcase um, or the camp for our team, hopefully we'll be able to go back and, I'm definitely looking forward to going back and seeing my billets. 
Yeah, some great memories out there for sure. So I got to ask, when you're playing on that team for the United States and you go up against teams like BU, North Dakota, Notre Dame, you know, elite college teams, uh, did you notice a difference in uh, going up against those teams as opposed to your regular schedule? Yeah, for sure. I think we all kind of got really excited for those big college games. And I think especially earlier on in the season, too, it's you kind of a little starstruck. You grew up watching all these big teams. And I remember my first college game was versus Notre Dame. And I was kind of just thrown right into it. And, you know, I kind of took a second to be like, wow, you know, I'm, I'm playing Notre Dame. This is pretty cool. Um, and so it was really cool to go to the different rinks around the country and, and play all the top schools, like you said. And, you know, we played North Dakota. They were ranked one at the time. Uh, we played Cornell, BU, uh, Michigan, Minnesota. So um, we were playing all the big schools. So it was definitely a lot of fun. And, yeah, the pace, it was great. Um, obviously, we're a lot younger than they are. I think some of the teams had, had guys that were eight years older than us. Um, so it was, it was definitely physically challenging, especially for the forwards and D-men. But um, it was something that, you know, we really cherished. And it was, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, so I assume along the way uh, in your – Recruiting process, you had a lot of options. Um, it seems like staying in the Boston area was in your best interest. Um, seems like to me growing up in Boston, just like yourself, you know, BU and BC, uh, they have very similar traditions with winning two historic coaches. Um, why Boston University? Yeah, I've grown up really a BU fan my whole life. Um, you can find, you know, little pictures of me sitting on the plane. I'm always wearing BU hats, BU t-shirts, and um, when the opportunity was there, um, you know, and I got offered to be used, I didn't really think of any other school. It's just, you know, with the facilities they have here and, you know, the goaltending situation, the great coaches was, was a no brainer for me. And, you know, there's, there's so many good schools in Boston. Um, and I definitely wanted to stay local. Um, and especially going away for two years too. I know my parents are pretty happy to have me home and um, have me pretty close so they can come watch my game. So that's important too. And I'm really excited that I stayed in Boston. Yeah, it seems like it was the right decision for you. So everyone knows that at Boston University, it seems like the program can get, you know, any player that they want. They're getting all the top players each year, guys that, you know, are probably going to get drafted early. Um, so we all know that you're a great hockey player, but what are they getting in you off the ice as a person? Yeah, I think, you know, I pride myself in being a really good hockey player, but um, I try to be a better person off the ice than I am a hockey player. And um, that definitely comes first. And I learned a lot of things at St. Sebastian's, um, the high school I went to. That was that was their big thing is, you know, just being a good person and, and stuff like that. So um, that's definitely um, very important to me is just being a good person, you know, treating everyone the same, whether it's, you know, the head coach or the janitor at the rink. Um, I'm going to treat them the same, you know, with the utmost respect. And I'm just trying to be the best person that I can be. Yeah, so how excited are you to be um, a part of this tr tradition at Boston University that you've grown up? Uh, knowing, seeing all the numbers uh, up in the rafters and um, in the stands. Uh, was that something you looked forward to for a long time since your commitment? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's felt like forever. And I committed um, maybe after my freshman year, and um, I feel like it's always been on the radar, and I haven't thought about it too much. And, you know, just recently thrown on the BU jersey for the first time, it was, you know, it was pretty cool to throw that on and kind of realize that I've made it and, yeah, like you said, there's been so many great players and so many great players that are on the team now. And I'm really just looking forward to getting the season started um, and getting better with the guys. That's a great answer. So I got to ask, you know, so throwing on that BU jersey, having the feeling, um, I'm sure that you were aware that uh, Jake Ottinger, who was a BU goalie not too long ago, just made his first NHL debut in the playoffs. How does that make you feel knowing that, you know, he wasn't too far behind you? Yeah, I'm actually pretty really close with Jake. Uh, we skate together in the summer at our goalie coach, Brian Eklund's place. So um, I shot him a text. I was obviously watching that game, and I was so excited for him. And, you know, he's been such a great friend and mentor to me because, you know, we kind of have gone through the same path. He went to the, the U.S. program, um, and then he went to BU too. And um, obviously he's doing great things out in Dallas, and uh, I'm super pumped for him. He's He's been so good to me, and I, I can't thank him enough for all he's done for me. And um, I'm just super excited to, to watch all the success he has. And, yeah, it's, I mean, it's really cool to, to see that path and um, know it's in, you know, it could be possible for me. And I'm just going to work my hardest uh, to do that. That's a good mindset to have. So, um, obviously, coming into this year's draft, there's a lot of names, including yourself, that are expected to be called. Um, a lot of teammates that you played with at the USA Development Program. How special would that be not only for yourself, um, but to hear it also with, 
uh, your brothers. Yeah, I mean, I'm so excited, um, obviously, to hear my name called, but I'm just excited to see as all of my teammates get their names called, too. Um, you know, I've been with them for two years, and they're like brothers to me, and um, I'm really excited just to, to see them all get drafted and, you know, see where they go. And, you know, they've all earned it. They've worked so hard, and um, I love my, my teammates from the last two years. You know, they're, they'll be my brothers for life, so um, I can't, can't wait to see how they do at the draft. Yeah, it should be a special night for sure. So I got to ask, um, you're ranked as the number one goaltender for uh, North American skaters coming into this draft. Um, to stay motivated and to keep that, and is that something that you don't really pay attention to, or is it more just a mental and physical battle that something that you want to hold on to? I think, yeah, that's, that's, for me, that's more kind of outside noise that I try to eliminate. Um, during the season, I deleted Twitter and all that stuff. I just think you know, a lot of it's just people's opinions and, you know, obviously some people are going to love you and some people are going to hate you. And, you know, whether you're LeBron James or you're a rookie in the league, everyone's going to have their own opinions. And um, for me, the biggest thing for me is just stopping the puck. And, you know, if I can do that and do my job, everything else will fall into place. Okay, so last question. For, you know, a goalie going into a game, you know, especially in Hockey East, you're going against the top players in collegiate hockey, um, except for, you know, some of the skaters out in Minnesota. Is it more of a mental or physical battle getting ready for a thing like that? Uh, I think it's for sure mental for me. Um, I think goaltending in general um, is around, you know, 90% mental. Um, and there's a lot of preparation you can do mentally to, to get ready for the games. And, yeah, like you said, you can't – in Hockey East especially, you can't take a night off. Every team can, can beat every team, um, you know, no matter the night. So um, I'm really looking forward to, to playing a lot of games like that. And I think last year helped – Help me prepare for that a lot. You know, a lot of our games were, were really close, 2-1 games. So um, I'm really looking looking forward to that. And, um, yeah, I'd for sure say men the mental part. Well, I think you got a great future ahead of you. I can't wait to hear your name called on draft night. I wish you the best of luck. Um, I'm a Providence College alum, so I can't wait to see you play against Providence. And uh, I wish you the best of luck, man. Thanks for coming on. Yes, of course. Thank you for having me. No problem.